Now, let's drill down on composition. Let's just go and check what ChatGPT said about composition, okay? I think I've asked a lot of things on ChatGPT, okay? ChatGPT talks about reusability. ChatGPT talks about scalability and flexibility, okay? Let's see if this is scalable and flexible, okay? Let's say tomorrow we receive an instruction to change this star, the rating stars to be the first one and the title to be the last one. How are we going to do that? Or to take the title and put it at the back. Let's just go back and check the code and see what we will do. As you can see, it will mean, which is a problem, it will mean we have to go to the title, let's say, okay? Um, where is my title? I'm on song card, okay? That it will mean I have to take this title. Where am I rendering this title? As you can see here, I will have to take this and I will have to shift it. As you can see, guys, I will shift it to the bottom, okay? Sounds cool, yes. But now every component, okay? Every component, this one, this one, the other one, this one, this one, this one, does that. Now the CTO come and say that, no, I didn't say change all of them. I said change only this one. And as a developer, I'm going to come back and say, I cannot. Okay, why? Because, guys, it's not flexible and it's not scalable. Okay, when you have to modify something, that means you have to break your code, which is a problem. Guys, the scale that I'm going to show you now, it's very important. You will see how flexible this component is going to be. Like, it's going to be fluid. It's going to be... It's, it's just going to flow like water, okay? Just believe me on this one, okay? Now, with what I'm going to show you, we can just rearrange these things as we wish. We can take the picture to the bottom, take the name to the top, take this one. We can rearrange as we wish. How are we going to do that? Let's start with the image, okay? Remember, an image is a separate component, which is an image box. I'm in the wrong place here. Okay, now let's take the image out of here. Okay. If I'm going to take it out of here, first of all, let me just see something. It looks like the image here is inside a container. Okay. In order for these to work, all these elements need to be the children of only one container in order for us to achieve this flexibility. So let's refactor this code. I don't think this is needed, okay? I don't think it's necessary, okay? As you can see, I've removed it. It doesn't work. So I want everything to be a child of this, okay? As you can see, everything has been um, arranged like a column, okay, from top to bottom. I want everything to be a child of this okay how am i going to do that let me just give this a background color of red okay let me give it a background color of red okay as you can see so this is a child of this and this and this so let me just make sure that's the case this is the first one what is this container Okay, let me remove this container and see what it carries. As you can see, okay, it carries, um, save, it carries these, okay? Let's see what it does. Vertical margin, okay, it um, assigns a vertical margin. This is a very small role and I don't think it's necessary, okay? That means I can delete this. Okay, let me first delete it. Okay, that means I can delete this. Okay, because um, am I on the right place? This is not the one that I want to delete, the one with vertical 10. Okay, as you can see, I've deleted it, but we don't have really a major change in structure. Okay, this is code refactoring. And then what else do I want to do? Let me check what is this. 
okay because here i'm supposed to have only the the components that we are importing okay okay you are styling the title okay you are styling the title meaning that based on this component composition that we are now adopting the title need to be some sort of outside okay not in this module so that it can come here with all of these okay let's quickly do that okay let's see where do you start and where do you end the title ends here so what we can do also for now okay since the title doesn't have much there's no need for it to be a separate component but we are going to create a function okay let the function be at the top okay let the function be at the top even if it can be outside this main module i don't mind because it's not part of this okay let's say const uh, title is equal to our function as you can see now return as you can see i'm returning the title okay as i'm returning the title i need okay as a function that only takes the title i need to have a title and i need to receive it as a prop this works fine okay now i'm going to come here where the title was i wonder where the title was where the title was okay where the title was am i going to remember okay after the image i think there is a title here okay are you not supposed to receive something as a string why you are not complaining why title you are not complaining okay this title this title okay oh there are two titles there is this title and there is this one okay so let's call this okay let's call this um section title let's call this section title so that we can um so that we can render section title here instead of title now section title is complaining okay let's see you cannot find section okay this is t section okay okay this is what i want section title copy this move this up section title okay now i think you can find certain title i think okay what are you complaining with okay now let's add the title Okay, then the title is going to be the title. I think we have a title here. Title string is not assignable to is not assignable to type string. Okay. Let's go back here on title and see how are we receiving title okay let me just do this okay and then do this as you can see everything works well okay everything works well let's check 
okay everything works well i have like this okay everything works well no errors now let's see section title okay now let's go down go down go down go down go down okay this is section title but when i'm receiving the section title it looks like i'm receiving nothing let's type matthew here and see oh okay section title is there but i was not aware of it here is it okay this is section title i was looking at, at it i'm on the wrong place now section title now it looks like this is becoming shorter and shorter and shorter this is only the container the outer parent okay uh, element i like that and then we've got the reusable component the reusable component now it looks like we are stuck with these ones what are these okay this works on Okay, this works on uh, the flex direction row and cap is equal to 5 of what? Okay, for star rating, as you can see, this makes sure that the star rating is aligned rows. Okay, that is not much of a problem. We also don't need it here. Okay, um, social stats was for what? Okay, I see. Okay so this belongs to actually let me see let me see this is a row that means it's like this it goes hand in hand with the star rating and then plus this and the description okay okay um let me just move this let me move social stats and see okay okay now i see what's going on here now we've got this one let's remove this the stars and see what's left nothing left okay uh to me based on how i see it we've got the star rating it ends here okay and uh, we've got number of reviews active stars and eight active stars okay let's click save in terms of this where are we getting it okay but what i want to do now let me take um this part see this part this container needs to go to the star rating okay Okay, if I've removed it, it looks like everything works as intended. Okay, we need to leave these like these so that there could only be one parent. It looks like this works as intended. Okay, without that container that I have removed. And then we've got social styles. I'm happy with that. What is this text for? Then this is the description. Okay, however, it's not just a description. Okay. Uh, let me do it like this. Okay, we need to create. Okay, I will come back to here. Go back here. Let's create another function. This was a set title. And then let's say const description. Okay. And then let's return okay let's return this okay and then we need to receive a description here as a string okay I'm happy with that then we're displaying description and then we need to take this and put it here okay not sure if that's the case but let's see description and 
then um what is this let's say um okay let's say card description on this function since we already have description there yeah let's make this function card description because we already have description in this module okay there's no equal sign also okay and then and then what we want to do okay and then what we want to do okay cut description is missing what what do are we supposed to assign here is not a some type of string okay not a problem let's go back to cut description here cut description comes cut description then we'll return this with the description okay so let's take a description from here and then apologies about that and then let's okay it's not assignable to a type string what is the problem okay not a problem i hope now you remember okay if it's like this can't we maybe remove the object and see if it's going to work let's fix it the other way okay still it doesn't work okay no problem let's go back here copy put some curly braces put some curly braces and paste here then we are done okay let's see if it's going to run it looks like it's running let me just keep some of the pages with unnecessary information okay now we are having an empty description as we are passing it here passing it where Okay, some card box image title. Add description as we are passing it here. Let's just type description. Okay, description and pass this description. See, so is there anything that we can see? First, let me just type something. Okay, as you can see, we can see something here. And then let's put that description. Not really. Let's check where is this description coming from. This description is coming from... Um, was it supposed to come from here? It doesn't, guys. We don't have to receive this description from here we really don't okay you will see why or return oh, okay my apologies about that okay my apologies about that this is the function that we have created okay i was asking here on the song cut as a component we don't have to receive description okay because now we will push description from its own component okay that means there is no description yes there's no description there okay let's say testing okay now as you can see guys we are leveling up we are leveling up and i'm happy about this because this is becoming cleaner let's again um format it okay let's check as you can see guys this code is becoming cleaner okay this is the section title okay and we are returning the title we are on song card we are returning this section title okay 
Um, is let's see, let's see, let's see where. Okay, my apologies about that. Looks like I got this all wrong. Where is song cut? Okay, I want to be here. Don't mind these. Okay. Don't mind these two. Okay, we've got song card. Song card, it's receiving a title, which is the title is going to be My Dreamer, Kanye My Dream, suppose. And then, and that's it. Okay, where is this title being used? This title is being used on section title. <laughs> Looks like it's a problem to me. Okay looks like it's a problem this now the song card remember it's a container okay it's a container the song card now is just an empty container it's not supposed to have um what can i say it has got nothing to do with the images okay okay so this means that it's not supposed to receive the image it's not supposed to the image must be injected here okay the section title must be injected here okay my apologies about that okay let's say testing title let's save okay 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 as you can see testing title now it's coming from this title and what else um testing which is testing this one as a description it's coming here coming from here okay guys i think this is now getting there let's just <clears throat> my apologies about that i'm sneezing okay it's getting cold here but i have to finish when i'm done not when i feel like i'm tired okay this is correct design let's continue guys so i'm just gonna format this how many lines now it's only 64 this is getting shorter guys okay this is now clean remember when i started okay i was moving up and down i didn't know what is where where is what now this is clean okay now let me show you the um, the advantages okay remember we are not getting into the core yet but i'm just showing you the advantages of a clean code what if maybe we want to render the image at the bottom this is what we are going to do take the image from here put it here and save boom the image has been arranged okay as you can see guys we're approaching that flexibility go back to chat gpt as you can see flexibility okay and then this is not enough okay this is must be easy this must be simple must be simple okay let's check here guys what i'm going to do now this element has got children this element has got children okay let it receive the children okay that means there must be nothing inside it okay this is very important okay this what about this view as you can see we even have empty views okay it must receive nothing boom it must receive children okay receive children and then it needs to receive children from where from here children as react react dot react not react navigation react dot react node and then you are receiving children okay 
have you ever heard of inception okay let's just quickly um take a small break guys okay i'm a big fan of the movie inception okay let's say description okay because i can easily explain this in terms of um inception okay let me see i want it to be explained in terms of a dream let me quickly ask ChatGPT to see if um explain the movie inception in in terms of a dream inside a dream okay this is not a dream let's see guys okay we're just taking uh we are refreshing guys i'm starting to see that also i'm feeling sleepy okay my mind it's like it's been heavy in this okay but i'm going to use this to explain something to you guys okay let's see what it says inception in 2000 science fiction yes by christopher nolan yes okay okay layers of dreams okay in inception characters enter multiple layers of dreams each layer represent a deeper level of subconsciousness this is all that i wanted okay these characters are getting into multiple layers of dreams it's like you are dreaming now and then in your dream you start to dream in that dream you start to dream i hope you get the idea if you get the idea guys or you haven't watched inception uh, you can just go and check inception okay i like philosophical movies enough about me enough about inception let's go back here to this important technique that i'm going to teach you am i on the right place not at all this is where i want to be okay so i have removed everything which was inside this container okay this contain this container pretends that it's going to receive its own items it pretends like that okay as you can see guys it pretends like that but behind the scene okay behind the scene it's like it's going to sleep okay and dream about the children the children are coming from the same container if subcard is a person subcard will sleep assuming that he is going to receive children in a dream that is going to be possible that he might receive children it's his own dream remember but now inside the dream he can receive children and then he can render those children here and then boom we've got a component that is working sounds complicated this is called a design i'm going to break this down to you today you are going to nail it and if i was the react um a visionary or a pioneer i was going to call this method or technique not component composition or compound component it was going to be inception let me show you guys now this had this component song card okay um let's take the children of this song card and put it inside um, somewhere in the same file with song card okay not outside it's still somewhere here it's just like these modules which are just outside it's not like they are in a different file they are just outside this module okay in the same file which is song card now let's put them here as you can see guys we're getting errors that is not much of a problem now what we need to do okay what we need to do as my approach is about that we need to say song card okay now it's like we are setting up these children so that when song card is asleep he can receive them okay we're getting them ready but they are not going to be injected now okay song card must be asleep how is song card going to be asleep this song card can only be asleep in another module when it's being called i will show you when this is asleep let's continue 
song card as you are song card dot okay box image let's start with this one dot box image uh, is this the best way to go about it i think so i think so okay okay let me go back this is becoming a little bit complex but i'm going to go back i'm going to explain it clean when we are done with this you are going to understand this concept okay the reason why we have moved these children here remember they can only be injected once this guy is asleep okay that means when this is in another module remember it's being used where i think uh, i think here okay i think so okay yes it's being used here do you see that when this component is being used these properties are being supplied as you can see okay meaning that if you are still awake okay even if these are inside the same file okay we don't need to supply these okay this is not the responsibility of this module to know about where the the the, the image is coming from okay to know where the title is coming from because if this song card could be aware of that it will mean that it will only render one and the same image. Do you see why we are casting out the properties? Okay, let's wait for card to sleep first so that he can dream twice. Okay, he's awake. He needs children, doesn't have children because he's awake. He needs to be asleep. He can only be asleep on another module. When, it's, when this guy is being used on another, mo on another module, then he will be asleep and then he will be ready to receive the props bear in mind those props that he is receiving they are not coming outside of him they are only coming inside of him if it sounds complicated let's just quickly jump to practical maybe you are going to understand it okay let's go back song card you have a child but you will only receive this child once you are asleep what is that child that child is dot box image okay the child that is box image you are going to get it from a component which is called box image not this one because this is a jsx element okay this is an element now if i am going to inject these when this guy is asleep okay my apologies about that if i'm going to inject this when this guy is asleep i might as well copy it because i need these properties okay if i'm not using them here it doesn't mean i'm not going to use them i'm going to use them but somewhere else so i need them as they are just going to make you one practical example okay um let's see what this one says cannot be applied to a type of image what 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 is the problem okay let's see song card dot box image is equal to box image is box image um uh, uh, imported where is box image box image card yes okay i will let me okay let me check okay i want box image okay box image card okay let me remove okay let me what can i do what can i do what can i do let me comment instead because i still okay guys that means we are sorted it was only these that are giving me problem as you can see guys now this guy as he's alive he's got a child but he's not aware of it as you can see he's assuming that he's going to receive it it's only available on the first level of a dream that means when you are being used being called in a different module that's the first level of a dream you are unconscious there then i will feed you with this okay the child that you have but you are not aware of because now you are awake let me go to the calling module which is this is a calling module i'm going to remove all of this i'm going to call song card again song card again okay let's see song cards complaints song card is complaining this is his dream state 
he is complaining that I don't have children. Okay. It looks like here he's more like aware, even though he is asleep, that I'm supposed to receive children. Okay. Now, let's make this not a, what can I say, not a self-closing tag because this guy is expecting children and he is right. Okay. Look at how are we going to supply the children. Okay. The children are not going to come somewhere outside okay it's only the properties of the children that are going to come from this calling module but the actual children or the actual child is going to come from him okay that's why i was saying this is inception it has got some sort of a bit of a tricky thing okay you are not sure if you are awake or you are asleep or whatever the characters that are ex 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 um what experiencing in the movie the matrix even you you are going to experience something like that but i hope this is the best way of explanation if it's the best way please shoot a comment below so now we are going to call the guy again okay so do you see that this guy is inside himself now we are calling him but not him his own child dot back image as you can see now mm, let's make this a self-closing tag the child that we are calling it's telling us that remember i am a component from here i am a component i am a component from where i am a component from here okay the fact that you've just assigned me as a child that will be used in a dream that doesn't mean i'm not a component okay just like these ones i need those properties still it's much better now because you don't need them here you are needing them here in a calling module the calling module it's he its own responsibility to feed you with those props now let's take the code that we have copied and then we are like okay these are the props that you need and we will supply you with the props boom guys everything works as intended let's see what is being displayed here as you can see guys now this guy who was a uh, uh, song cut okay he has got this makes me laugh he has got some children okay he has got some children that he assumes he is going to receive little did he know that these are his children why because he's awake okay he need to sleep first before he can let's say get the children okay now he's saying i am going to receive children but i'm not sure where the children are coming from he's awake okay the god or the uh, infinite intelligence is watching at him and he's laughing like nah man you have the children but you are not aware of it you are not conscious okay you are on you can only be conscious when you are subconscious which is kind of like a play around words you can only be aware of your children when you are asleep okay now we are injecting those children children child number one is going to be this image this guy is asking when am i going to receive this child now we are telling him you are awake you are not aware of that okay you can only receive these children which are coming from you or they are associated with you but now you are not aware of it once you are asleep then we take him to deep sleep inside this calling parent here he must be asleep because he's not in control now we are saying inside you we want to first to get inside you first okay you must be dreaming first so that we can access through your own mind we can access what is planted inside you as a child which is this one guys i hope this is the best way of explaining okay now let's continue with other components which is uh, where i am now it looks like i'm in inception a dream inside a dream or a tap inside a tap or a code inside a code but this is coded design we will get this right okay let's see we've got almost an hour running not a problem guys let's continue song card now we want to tell this guy you are going to receive song card poor guy song card dream inside a dream 
you are going to receive a section title okay or you have a section title you are not aware of it at the moment and that section title is section title where is it coming from this one i think it's not really coming from an import but it's the one that we have declared okay so you can see it needs the properties we will give you the properties in the calling module okay let's quickly go and do that okay the properties are only title and testing and what, what that's not a problem let's go to the dreamland okay now we are telling this guy again okay can't i um try to clean this let me just because this code doesn't look good okay i'm happy with this 43 lines okay this at least this is neat this guy we are telling him again that okay song card while we are inside you we want to access the children through you but now the children that we were the child that we want to access its section title okay section title is saying i need some props and we said don't worry section title we've got your props boom let's see what's going on here now okay element is invalid expecting a string or a built-in component a character not a problem let's hide you here we like errors i'm going to sort this out section title you are expecting title as a string okay and we have supplied you with a string okay let's go back oh i didn't save as you can see guys there is a dot here which means this file has not been saved okay now that the file has been saved we are good to go there is an image here which is um somebody's picture of which i don't want to get into troubles okay you know with people element invalid okay it's still telling me about the invalid elements not much of a problem it told me about that on this section title let's go back to section title okay section title you are taking title and title is a string okay to be honest i don't see any error with this okay this is proper okay but in case it's reinforcing this is coded design we've got more than one way to bypass or circumvent um, any problem or tough time okay now if it doesn't work let's say what i'm going to do i'm going to take this module to as a separate component outside okay outside so that um i cannot use it from here okay let me just refresh this refresh this okay as you can see now it's starting i'm happy with this okay guys if you are um, learning something okay this is a very long video and i like it because i have learned a lot from it as you know at core design we are not the all-knowing guys okay i am also learning at the same time now guys everything worked okay everything worked let me show you everything worked here is it okay now let's look at how important this dream in a dream is matthew you've been explaining complex term a dream in a dream and i didn't get you now you're going to get me clear okay look at how important this dream in a dream okay remember the flexibility that we got when we were here copying and pasting so that this can be under this one and this can be under this one look at how now that is going to be it's going to be working our favor okay let's go to the calling component now let's say a supervisor or a manager comes and say no we have made a mistake <clears throat> the title is supposed to be on top and um the other thing is supposed to be beneath the other one now matthew is going to say not a problem i'm going to take two weeks to fix that problem and you're going to pay me for two weeks and matthew has written a very reusable code this is what he's going to do 
he is going to take the child from inception <clears throat> and then move it above the image and he will refresh boom guys this is the deep and deep level okay this is not the stuff that you usually get on um, other channels i've been following them for some time hoping that they will give me something like this they will explain these things but unfortunately they don't if you want to see this pattern at work go and dive deep into shared cdn okay let me just quickly go through it um shared cdn the reason why i'm referencing an external library or something i'm just wanting to show you okay i think this now is owned by vessel i'm just i'm just thinking okay it's owned by vessel i'm just i just want to show you that what we are dealing with the reason why it's so complicated it's a dream inside a dream it looks like it's an advanced concept that's what other tutorials are saying or other coders they are saying this is an advanced concept at coded design we don't have advanced concept if you are saying it advanced it means that you lack the sufficient understanding to explain it to somebody else at coded design if you pay us with attention we will pay you back with tons and tons of react knowledge now let's just go to <clears throat> my apologies about that i don't know my voice is changing a little bit maybe it's because i have put myself in a situation where as i'm making the tutorial i can't go out and drink water okay i used to have a bottle around me to drink water but now i don't have it <clears throat> my apologies about that let's continue guys so this is shared cdn okay shared cn okay so let's see how these guys are writing their components i want to show you um which one is going to give me that let's look for a table okay because the table it looks like it's complex so let's look at the code of the table okay i want to look for this pattern okay as you can see guys these guys are writing like clean code the reason why they are writing clean code like this one they think a lot okay us as youtubers and youtube student we've got a tendency of not wanting to give the other guy an ear okay once the once the, the tutorial starts we are expecting this person within six seconds he is supposed to tell me exactly what he's going to do he doesn't have a chance to explain in parables he must tell me if not i'm unsubscribing i'm leaving and that mentality is quite a, a, a mission and a half okay because you won't learn the valuable stuff like these ones okay as you can see guys let's check here <clears throat> my apologies about that I want to check the dots okay the dreams inside the dream okay let's see um which component that has got the dots let me think guys i think the message uh oh my god i forgot but that's not much of a problem when i have found it um i will tell you in another video okay let's check here okay let's check here but what we can notice here is that you declare things here as you can see there are no props that's the first thing uh, that symbolizes that these guys are using best practices okay as you can see this is somewhat a big um what can i say a big component okay it's going to be a big component. but as you can see these guys are running away from props as much as they can there are no props that are being passed here maybe render drop down true or false they are running away from that as you can see here they are running away from that as you can see as you can see you are just um putting things instead of passing props okay that's what we were also doing but we've maybe took it too far or maybe we are uh, we didn't go that far but what is important guys we are trying to write code the same way as high paid developers are writing code i hope this is clear that's the best i can explain it okay if you want more you can also check reactive um react native paper okay those guys they also write code in this way okay let's see the dot the dot the inception not really not much of a problem guys let's go back here so guys we are going to be swift uh, a little bit we can see the advantages so 
I'm going to prepare everything, okay, quick, 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 without explaining too much. And then we are going to be done with this. So let's quickly do that. Let me go, I um, don't want to be here. Okay. Where do I want to be? Where do I want to be? I want to be here. Okay. Now let's go back to that guy, the dreaming guy. Okay. Talk to the dreamer and tell the dreamer that the dreamer. Song card. Dot. You are going to have a child. What that child is. We are telling him again. The child is. Star rating. Okay. And you are going to get the child from the source star rating. Okay. Song card. If song card was a person, he was going to be like. Mm. And I said, you are going to have a child. And then he's going to, what child? And then that child is social stats. Okay. You know, when you are calling a kid and you want to send him somewhere to the shop. or They always um, respond like that. Okay. Well, let's see, guys. As you can see, guys, we're getting the song card. Mm, what do you want? You are going to have a child. What's the name of the child? The child is a card description. Okay. Okay. Now we are done. Okay. Now what we want to do, we just need or we just want to uh, take these props. Okay, let me just copy all of this. Okay. In fact, I can cut it. What happened? Uh, redo. Redo. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let me just cut this. As you can see. Okay. And this technique is called compound components. Okay. Let's go back to... Where is the calling module? Okay. Okay, we are here. Can't we put these back to where they were? Okay. Put this back to where it is. Okay. And then let's see. Paste this. And then what we want to do, we want song card. At least now song card is in the dream state. Okay. The dream state dot what child star rating dot star rating. Self closing tag, star rating is complaining. Star rating, we've got you, bra. This is what you want. Okay, no errors. Okay, song card. At least song card doesn't complain that much because he's in the dream state. Dot what? We are done with the star rating. Dot social stars. Social stats. Okay. Ah, uh, there's no social stats. Dot social stats. Self-closing tag. Social stats is complaining. We've got you, bra. This is what you want. Then again, song card. Okay, dot. Dot what? I think you guys now are, are getting the hang of it. Okay. Dot card description. Okay. Self closing tag, self description is complaining. We've got you, bra. I know what you want. Boom. Now we have just created a component that can be used by Microsoft, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Those engineers they are writing a code like this one. It took time, it was longer, it was stressing, it was straining guys it was worth it if you can write components like these ones believe me i have been working in some few smaller tech startup companies the things that i have seen there guys what i'm teaching you here it's the value but you will see it as soon as you get um, the react job or maybe if you're already working you might see that matthew has got a point here okay let's see okay the code hey eh? you don't know what this guy was thinking how he does things okay so now guys let's um remove the red background from where i think the red background is here on the song cut 
Okay, let's see now how short song card is. Um, we'll format this. Only 56 line, okay, as compared to what it was. Okay, I'm happy with this. This is short and sweet. Whatever that chat GPT was talking about, we have just did that, okay? So the programming, let's say a programming life cycle, okay? You start with a bunch of code, okay? You do some refactoring. The UI stays the same, but the code decreases. When you do another refactoring, the UI stays the same, but the code decreases. So people who don't really know much about programming they always complain that this thing didn't change it it stayed the same okay even some other seniors they do that okay i'm not sure if they never learn to code but they can come to you and complain that you are busy wasting time this component is already like this and when are you and you are like deep down this component is not as reusable as i want it to be let's continue guys i'm happy with this now let's remove the red background we don't need it okay guys we have it we have made it if you have made it this far congratulations you have learned something believe me it's something's going to take you somewhere one day even if after 10 years you'll come back to me and say matthew taught me something okay let's continue guys now let's get into this um component okay and then look at now how flexible this is. What if maybe we don't want to display the image, okay? What, what, what can we do? You just comment or remove what you don't want to display. Okay, now this looks like a normal text. What if here we don't want the rating? Where the rating is, okay, this is the rating. We just remove the rating. Okay, as you can see, guys flexibility okay at its best what if maybe we want to start with the uh with the stats where is the stats we want to start with the stats okay we want to start with the stats here okay maximum flexibility now this is ready to make it to the um, to africa okay the the the, the library the u i library okay that we are building then we will be done guys this is what we wanted to do and i'm happy that we did it and we gave more than we were supposed to okay now the only challenge that we have which is a minor challenge it's the naming okay we need to name this um we need to name this in such a way that it fits in a library okay um if it's a rating card what if now you have removed the image and you have removed this and now you don't even like i'm not sure you're not even using it for rating okay that means that name won't be relevant okay it has got a, a context okay let's say um okay a card it's a card okay to start with this is a card okay let's say card it has got the title okay it has got the rating it has got the two let's call this um a flexible image card boom guys we got it a flexible image card so what i'm going to do i'm just going to copy it as it is because i don't want it to break this code okay so let me go to where is it here is it here it's a song card i will copy it as a song card here okay then i'm going to go to africa okay and then when we go to africa and then um when we go to africa what are we going to do where is africa i think this is africa okay this is africa and then what we want to do to africa we want to go to okay africa component we want to paste this component okay first of all let's change the name of this component this component has to be flexible um flexible image card okay 
flexible image card let me copy that and then let me change the component okay change the component and then um what am i going to do okay which card component am i changing here okay let's see what i'm going to do okay this is the right place no problem and then um, let's see okay i'm done changing let's change the name flexible card Okay, flexible image card. Let's change the export. I'm exporting it as that also. Nope. Okay, it looks like I've copied a lot of things. This is uh, the only thing that I wanted to copy. Okay. Now, this component is complaining because it's looking for because remember it's a um this is component composition so it's telling me that i'm looking for the pieces that makes up who i am that's not much of a problem let's just use this as a guide we want um the box image um the rating and the social stats we're going to go back here okay um da, 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 da. where do i want to go okay i want to go here and then here what i want to do i want the social stats okay i want the rating and what else i think the box image as you can see guys let me copy these and let me go to this one and then here on africa i'm going to paste these Okay, all of these are here. Now, boom, they are working. What's the complaint? Okay, as you can see, this section title, we didn't, um, remember it was embedded in that code, which that was not right, okay? So instead, I am going to create it here as part of the component so that I can import it, okay, .tsx. Okay, and then I'm going to take it from here. Okay, where is it? Where is it? I think it's here. Where is it here? Social section title. Go to definition. This is it. I think even the card description. Okay, let me copy this. Okay, and let me put it here okay as you can see let's import this Correct reference um this problem always happens sometimes and to be honest i don't know why okay always happen and i don't know why sometimes when you are importing things it will tell me about this but this is not much of a problem because it's not that difficult to fix it okay this is how i usually fix it okay this is what i will do i will take a module that i know it works and it can import the text go back to where i was because you can see all other modules are working but it's only that one that is not working i will paste it here as you can see it can import the text without a problem and i will just delete the remaining part then i will paste that one here okay let's see let's see let's see i want to be here okay i'm copying this and then i will paste it here okay usually this works okay i don't know why in my in the new file is not going to accept it in this file is going to accept it okay i really don't know guys let's export this as default export default so meaning that now that we have it here we can go back to the flexible image we can import this 
okay now it's not complaining this card description i wonder why it's not complaining because it's supposed to complain because also it was a function that was here okay as you can see it looks like we have copied that function okay here is that function let's do the same thing um since we are already creating it this is not a good programming practice guys so let's solve this it's card description go back where go back where go back where go back here okay then let's create a new let me paste uh -uh. okay card description hope that spelling is okay card description dot tsx Okay, and then this time when I'm copying that card description from here, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy it with everything, something like this, including those imports so that it cannot complain. Okay, as you can see, it doesn't complain and I will delete the things that I don't need. Something like the flexible card, I don't think I need it here. And then I will have to export this as default. Okay, export default. Okay, and then what is it that I'm not using here? I only want the text of each year is the text. I don't even need the view. Okay. Let's see. Oops, what have I done? Okay, what have I done? What have I done? What is it that I'm not using? I don't think I'm using these things. Oh, React I'm using. Okay. Okay. Now, guys, as you can see, we are done. And then let's remove the card description here so that the code will complain. And then we will import it from the right place. Okay, and then what we are going to do, we are going to import um, whatever that was in the calling module. Okay, whatever that was in the calling module, which is where, which is here. This deserve to be where? To be um, on the showroom, okay? let's see let's see let's see what do i want to do what do i want to do what do i want to do this deserve to be on the showroom okay okay i need a song card here here is a song card take it as it is and take it to the showroom okay Accessible image card. Where is the showroom? Let me type here S. Okay, showroom. And then let's put it down here. Okay. And then let's copy this. In fact, this text. Okay, it will help us with the labeling and then let's label this as what as this okay this is still looking for um song card of which now we don't have song card we have flexible this one flexible image image card okay let's see this is what we have now and we will need to import it okay title is missing in the type uh, flexible image card let's see now flexible image card you are suppose cannot find song card okay now i see i need to do this okay need to do this need to do this need to do this 
need to do this okay let's see does not exist on type uh, title string and 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 okay okay flexible card needs title okay yes suppose let's call the title um let's see let's call the title um um africa okay okay looks like um there is a lot of complaints let me just minimize this okay this is not much of a problem this we will fix let's go to the first of all let's check our imports and remove everything that we don't need okay flexible card component we're exporting it on the right place let's go to it okay this flexible card needs a title okay needs a title let's go there let's give it a title but in a different way and that different way is um that let's just put the square brackets somewhere here and see okay okay now let's just read okay the error oh the other thing that we can do this needs the children okay oh okay. yeah but it's uh it's not a self-closing tag so i can i have opened it and i've closed it here but let's just remove the children and see house flex image um i think i have copied the wrong thing here because this is not supposed it's supposed to take children if i would have copied the right thing okay i think so flexible image card you want to tell me you don't take children okay yes because this is not the flexible image card this is a song card we are looking for song card which is my mistake okay let's no oh, man let me think first of all where i am okay i'm in africa yes i'm on the right place yes remember i've changed song card to flexible image card Okay, it looks like when I was changing it, I changed it the wrong way. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. For some reason. Okay, whatever way I was doing, it was wrong. Okay, it's like I've got two functions here. This is totally wrong. Okay. This. Okay. Let me go back here. My apologies about that and to and to and to so that i can get everything that i got here then let's go back here um let me show you i'm supposed to take this name and put it here on song card which i didn't do and then replace it here replace it here replace it here replace it here instead i just wrapped this function with a new name which was a problem as you can see and then i need to delete this okay this now where is that okay what was this it's a title it's a title okay let me delete it i think this title i have imported it from yeah the title which was here it's the one that i have i'm importing it from a different place okay i'm happy with this let's go back here my apologies about that guys now we are here this is supposed to be this i don't think it takes this title what does it take Children is missing a type of required react node not much of a problem 
flexible cut image i don't need this okay as you can see guys boom we are done okay my apologies about all the ups and downs let's make sure that this code is clean this will make it uh to the showroom okay now what i want to do is i want to format this okay as you can see guys and then let's give it a name of flexible cut image okay okay if all goes well we are supposed to create um publish our own version okay and then the version that we are going to publish is supposed to come with this new item okay let's quickly do that so what i'm going to do as you can see i'm going to go to the home tab okay let's go to the home button let's see where here this is the home tab where is the home tab this is horizontal scrollable i don't want this let's go to home okay all these cut images are here and what what and what what okay i'm going to highlight everything here and i'm going to delete it and i'm going to type the shortcut rnfe and we are just going to have home in this page as you can see guys we are having home in this page why because i want to use our library okay now let's go back to here okay let's go back to here go back to here and then what we are going to do here we are going to publish but let's first go to our package dot json me and you we are publishing 1.0.3 okay let's do that okay before we do that let's check here refresh as you can see this is 1.0.2 suppose after we are done then it will be updated okay um, am i on the right place yes okay am i on the right place yes the version has changed yes now let's publish guys okay after publishing we are going to install this package here okay on this page on this empty page we are supposed to get a list of all the components from africa and then plus the components that we have created and then we will be done okay uh, is it me or it's taking some time obviously okay as long as we have changed this to that i am happy with that okay so let's wait and see guys it's been a long one but i believe it was worth it okay i'm publishing i'm not running anything okay that means i don't have to stop this one i wonder why it's not continuing let me cancel it okay i've canceled it and then let's publish again npm publish okay i'm hoping it's going to be different this time okay yes as you can see guys okay as you can see everything is done let's go back here let's just refresh three two one zero boom yay let's celebrate even before as you can see guys now we've got me and you we have just published 1.0.3 okay now this is interesting moment of truth okay now let's copy this and come back to here okay we are going to open another terminal okay this is the running terminal we are going to open another one okay now i'm even showing you how to run this package okay so what you do you click paste okay this command 
and then you press enter and that is all guys and the only thing that you are going to do you just have to use or to render showroom and that is it and then you've got components that you can use and reuse as you wish okay and that's about it okay let's just go and check it coded design how are we doing okay how are we doing at coded design okay i think my internet is slow guys i think my internet is slow my apologies about that guys i hope you have learned something i've tried my best okay maybe this is like by far my longest okay my longest this guy is very good with typescript this is the typescript god okay i'm learning a lot from him let's just check on coded design what's going on there it looks like we are at 1243 subscribers okay that's much better that's something i'm happy about it we are getting there slowly but surely okay as you can see guys um this is how we are doing you can come here and check this is um one of the good performing videos sitting at 1.8 thousand okay you can come here guys and check and support my channel i think i also have a buy me a coffee eh? okay i also have a uh, buy me a coffee at coded design so if you might feel like um i did the great job in this video you can just go here this is about me you can buy me a coffee now let's go back let's see what is this telling us unable to resolve the module obviously i was expecting that there are some modules that you are not going to be able to resolve okay there is a lot going on here okay with um with packages and all those things and it's busy installing so let's just wait for it to finish okay because as it's busy maybe it's copying some files so this will complain but when it's done i think everything will be set if it's not set don't mind about that what we will do we will just refresh this okay Okay, if I have a way, I can even cancel this running server. Okay, if there is a possibility, I'm stopping it, but it's busy. Okay. Okay, I think we have uh, canceled this. Okay, so let's just wait for this to finish, guys. Okay. Okay, let's see okay it's busy with typescript as soon as it's done then we are going to run it okay so what um i wish i wish i so wish i can pause the video so that i can make it shorter but um i want to i want this to be live that's my problem okay i think my internet is slow what can i do because i also want to save your time okay yeah let me do that okay let me pause the video because as you can see it's longer okay it's taking long okay this was supposed to be quick 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 okay but as you can see this is taking longer maybe it's because um maybe it's because this project it's an expo project but not only an expo project but even the tabs or uh, the way i configure it like it's it was like some sort of an export template okay so guys i don't have a choice let me just uh, quickly pause the video to save you some time okay to save you some time guys to save you some time okay guys i'm back um it took some time obviously as we expected but finally it's uh finished okay so let's just change this to africa so that we can see that this is the same home page as you can see this is changing let's just um import showroom okay my spelling showroom showroom okay let's see guys 
in three two one let's save and see boom guys we have it okay we have it okay obviously um the layout um there is some challenge here and there but this is our component guys okay it's coming from as you can see we are importing this let's say from africa okay so let me just um see what i can do just to make the background black so that we can see everything but even we were supposed we were supposed to even see the yellow ratings okay but i'm just going to change it black just to see okay obviously guys this is a work in progress okay you've seen it in the beginning of the video how it was it was like um nice and neat but obviously here there are some minor changes okay this is a work in progress but i'm happy with what we did okay it means something so what i want to do now let me just uh, try this to style this first okay uh, style this um, and give it um, a flex of one okay now i'm just finalizing guys just testing okay just testing let's give this a flex of one my apologies about that let's give this boom guys we have it okay we have it we have made it guys okay um one other thing this is not scrollable okay let's click here we have made it guys okay um what else what else what else what else um let's just make it scrollable okay okay let's just put a scroll view here okay a scroll view a scroll view Okay, let's just put a scroll view here and then um, let's remove this. Okay, let's remove this. Then let's take the showroom and put it here. Okay, let's put it here. Okay, suppose we also have the Africa picture here, but I don't know where it has disappeared. I don't think I mind much. But guys, we have made it. Let me make this background black. I'm so excited. Okay i am so excited i am so excited okay let's see let's see let's see what am i going to do let's see let's see let's see okay background um, background color of black that is it you just got it right there this is matthew singerty the designer and developer it's been a long one but we've made it okay we have delivered according to the promise okay guys if you have not subscribed please do me a favor visit my channel and just subscribe if you can i am tired i won't mind to be honest um i won't mind a cup of coffee we've just added a component here is it guys you can go to um you can go to um the npm package and install this package guys please share it with your friends okay um share it let's make um this package a success guys this is coded design i am matthew sangati from south africa the only thing that i want you to take from this channel and from me as a person okay it's authenticity and honesty okay if you can get that from this channel i am happy nothing more nothing less if you can subscribe that will be a bonus i will thank you and thank you thank you in advance for that see you on the next one